Are my actions always as what they seem? It is narrated at the time of the Holy Prophet وسلم, the farmers would bring their first harvest to the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him. When the Prophet would take the first harvest, he would take some for himself and he would spread it around his companions and some of the other Muslims as well. One day a poor man comes to the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him and he has one little fruit with him. He gives it to the Holy Prophet and the Holy Prophet begins to eat it and the man is standing amongst the companions of the Prophet. The Prophet begins to eat it and does not share it with those around him. The companions are a little confused because the Prophet is known to be very generous. He would always give even if it's something small. And so one of the companions looks at the Prophet and asks him, why are you not giving us some fruit? Do you want to keep it for yourself? Is it from the morals that you eat while others watch? The Prophet looked at him and kept on eating. Until the man that gave the Prophet the piece of fruit or the fruit itself left. The Prophet looked at his companions and said, I didn't want to give you some of this fruit because it's not ripe yet. And I felt that if I gave you this fruit and you started to eat it, you were going to show signs of disgust. And I didn't want to hurt the feelings of this man standing here in front of me, proud of the fruit that he just gave the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, don't jump to conclusions. We shouldn't be jumping to conclusions because we don't know what is actually going on, although we are witnessing it. Sometimes we feel that the person in front of us is doing something wrong but we don't give them the 70 excuses that we are instructed to give them by our Imams For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran says, Inna ba'da Surely after doubt and jumping to conclusions, there is sin.